Hey yo, people, and welcome back to Bard's Tale. Something is talking in reverse. We've tried to start this video a couple times now, and keep hearing things in reverse. Hi. Ow, that hurt. I feel like it's your skeletal buddy. Could be. Or maybe everything is just possessed around here. Maybe it's the new sound of your dog. Oh lord. That would be terrifying. Also, I think they're like reviving or something behind us. I don't think this is a place we want to stick around in. I think we want to keep moving. Yep. Because it looks like they keep spawning. It was becoming clear but to the bard the that his strong nest of population boom was in progress. Whenever he killed one Draugr, there was another popping up to take its place. Our hero was in a definite die-die situation. <laughs> well, hey, look. <clears throat> we now know for sure that that's what's happening. Yup. So I'm just trying to find all of the treasure spots. At this point, interesting. Go away. Can you read? I'm a traveler who needs to purchase some wares. Huh? I've fallen for that one before. Are you dead? Do I sound dead? Yes. I assure you, I'm not. Just let me in. Well, you see, I can't take the chance. If you go and grab that crazy butcher and bring him back with you, I will let you in. I trust him. You don't trust me, but you trust a crazy butcher. <laughs> that makes sense. Crazy is my middle name. Now go away. Okay. Go find the butcher. I bet I know where he is. Where's the butcher? No. Oh. Yeah. It's a butcher, not a blacksmith. We'll start with the B. Okay. Yeah, every time I kill one, another one appears. Lovely. That guy just randomly died. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you gonna sing for Good us? Good day to you, my friend. You must be lost to find yourself in this godforsaken town. It seems that the dead are not doing a very good job of staying dead. Yeah, we'll be nice to him. Don't worry, my friend. I won't be staying long. My quest lies elsewhere. Oh, a quest! How exciting! Perhaps I can help you with a magical tune if you think you're worthy. I don't know how worthy I am. But I do know I could use all the help. If you'd be so kind, I can use all the help I can get. It'd be my pleasure and honor to help a nice lad such as yourself. This is so out of character. Please, let me teach you this tool. Yep. I hope it'll help you on your journey. Ooh. Oh. -ho. Well then. All right. I bet it's everything inside that sparkly line that's. Probably. Yeah, they die as soon as they cross the sparkly line. Yep. Which is good. Okay, so. This goes back out to Hatcher's farm. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's right. I'm still looking for. Aha! The boot shuttle. Treasure is important. No, I'm pretty sure I know where the butcher is. Ooh, and this is why I explore. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, that is a corner. I don't like being in corners. Also, getting a lot of money apparently, just by wandering. We've been getting around. a lot of money for quite a while. Oh, saw that one coming. Let's see, so that's a random shield in the middle of nowhere. What'd you say? You could farm for money here. Hell chest on the other side you. of the fence. I don't think that's a chest. I hunger. Yeah, it's not a chest. Hi guys. I hunger. Bye guys. I'm just gonna go over here. Leave me alone. You got a nice conga line following you around. Alright. 
<laughs> oh, really? Oh, trow. Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, that's probably all of them, to be honest. Now I just have to get back, back out of here, yeah, without them catching me. Eh, you'll be fine. And all my pets are still trapped somewhere fighting. Except the hag. The one time she you doesn't see, run to her suicide. Friend, you're either very brave or very stupid to be wandering around this town today. In case you haven't noticed, the dead seem to be rising from their graves. I'm neither brave nor stupid. Just a humble traveler looking for a way into the fur bulb mines. If that's your intent, then you really are stupid. The fiend folk in the mines will make this town look like it was a walk in the park. Thus far on this journey, I've only met two types of people. Those that have helped me and those that I've killed. Which type are you? Excellent. It'll be my honor to help out a nasty sort of man like yourself. Please, take this tool and use it in good health. Uh-huh. Weird. You have strange priorities, dude. Being all nice and polite, and then as soon as he bites your head off... Here, have a song. Okay. You must be that crazy old butcher I heard about. <gasps> I thought I'd never see you again. Excuse me? D don't play games with me, Garrett. I thought I remembered the droger getting you, but I guess I was wrong, because here you are. I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, don't be stupid. How could I not know my own brother? Ah, yes. Well, then, I guess you're right. Uh, it's been a long time, eh? Uh, brother. Yes. It has been. It's been rough these last few weeks trying to survive alone. Well, there's the old shopkeeper, but he's crazy. It's a shame when your only companion is a crazy person, isn't it? You can say that again. Why, why ever since my boy, my only son. You all right there, brother? Ah, William, William, it is you. Oh, my son, I can't believe it's you. I thought you lost when you went off looking for that axe. Oh, gods, get off me, old man. Oh, no shame in public affection, my boy. You're my only son, and there's nobody else around. Well, nobody living, except maybe that crazy shopkeeper. I hate to interrupt her, uh, father. Uh, but do you know the way to the Firebolt Mines? What? Oh, of course I do, my boy. You know our farm is right next to the mine entrance. Why, our family's been trading with those Firebolt for generations. Great. Let's go to the farm. Uh, Dad. Hmm, <laughs> you had better lead the way. All this excitement has caused me to forget which way it is. We must head through the graveyard. Of course, naturally, through the graveyard. Just once it would be nice if the way to get someplace were through a field of flowers. The bard couldn't help but think that once this was all over, he had a new friend he could share a drink with. He was in fact quite overwhelmed by the thrill of spending hours on end with the crazy old butcher. Oh, shut up. That's not what I'm thinking and you know it. What, what was that, son? Nothing. Crazy old buzzard. I mean, father. So let me guess, I have to protect him. Probably. Well then. This is the tree that I fell out of and broke my wrist. Aren't we lucky it wasn't your neck? <clears throat> so let's do I want to see what that upgraded dude does. The upgraded elemental. Yep. Well, fancy. Oh, I think he looks different too. Like slightly. A little bit bigger. Maybe. 
I'll take care of things. Okay. We going somewhere, buddy? Oh man, escort quests. Ooh, I can still smell misty sweet buns. Best bakery in town. <laughs> oh, is he just gonna go straight to the shopkeeper, dude? Oh, and well, well then, in that case. Hildy, come this way! What? Am I his wife now? Apparently. Like, what the shit? Well, I don't see the butcher with you. Go away! You, it's okay, my friend. It's me, Hatcher, and my wife, Hildy. Uh, let us in! Oh, yes. How silly of me. You're looking as lovely as ever, Hildy. I'm gonna kill somebody pretty soon. Oh, and the same lovely temperament. <laughs> That's a big Welcome dude. Welcome to Torvald. Yeah. If I'm crazy enough to stay in this town, then I'm crazy enough to slash my prices. If we don't have it here, you don't want it. And if you can get it somewhere else, you don't need it. And if you can find it cheaper, I will eat my helmet. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, look, a Let's have a look at your you helmet. That. Crazy Torvald understands the importance of keeping one's head. And what better way to do that than with some quality armor at insanely cheap prices? What else you got? A. Well, yeah. Interesting. Today only, it's the crazy Torvalds music sale. Buy this instrument today, and I'll throw in a piece of music that I found on a dead body of some kid who wandered into town not so long ago for free. Mm -hmm, that's right. For one low price, you can get the horn and this tune. Yes, you couldn't live another day without owning this amazing instrument. I like this guy. He's okay. um enjoy the character. instrument and the music and don't forget to tell all your friends to shop here at Crazy Torvalds. What have you got to stab and bash with? Whether you're looking to cut down Kunal Trow or cutting down hedges, <sighs> these items can do the trick. So I think that's a one-handed sword, because that's probably a two-handed sword. Considering the damage difference between the two, what do you think? Mm. I'm guessing because yeah, that's right. that's in the same level as the flail, right there. Whereas mm. those two are roughly equivalent, so I'm guessing. Let me have a closer look. It's small. It's affected. Hide it in your boots. Hide it up your sleeve. And this dirk is made from the finest viper steel imbued with a deadly venom. And it's guaranteed to kill your foes. And I will swallow it whole if it doesn't serve you well, my friend. Am I crazy? Just a bit. I'll take it. Ah, the dirk. Good choice. Please come again. Show me your swords and flails. Whether you're looking to cut down Kunal Trow or... What can you tell me about this? You have seen Ravensteel broadswords in the hands of great warriors, great kings and men of legend. Well, quit admiring this amazing weapon in the hands of others and own your very own today. I'm offering it at an insane price today only okay dude i'll take it the broadsword very nice and remember if you see cheaper elsewhere then that's crazy 
<laughs> Show me your bows. Well, I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. And I see you're the same. These items will do the deed from a distance. <laughs> a little mess means easy cleanup. <laughs> wow. Well, might as well get the big bow, right? Burn through all your money, yep. Hmm. This looks interesting. You think you're a man who has everything? Well, believe me, you have nothing until you own this bow hewn from the legendary tree, Billy Dathy. It's sleek, it's powerful, and it can be yours for an absolutely mad price. I'll take it. Yes, the legendary one of a kind bow of Bill Duffy. I own three myself. Hmm, of course you do. See you, old man. Okay, well. Hey, look, my weapons are all glowy. Both of them now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's my greatsword. Mm -hmm. Now I can summon four things. What should I summon as my fourth thing? Mm -hmm. do -do 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 -do. I really don't know. I mean, the revival lady is maybe useful. I don't know if I'm going to. Yeah, maybe. I think I'm going to go with... I use a flute now. That's awesome. All of the songs are gonna sound different, I bet, because I use a flute. Yep. And now I'm his brother again. Okay. I knew not. <laughs> so are those the uh the Draugr or or is that this dude? <laughs> Cause I mean it could go either way. Hildy, come this way. Hildy, come this way! I'm right here, dude. So the only person who isn't upgraded at this point is the thief. I wonder if I missed something. No, because you got your thief pretty late. William, gather all your friends for cake and pie. Then we'll open gifts. I have a feeling my friends are not interested in cake or pie. Hildy, come this way! I'm a coming. Healing! <laughs> Hell take you! I hunger! Hildy, come this way! On your knees. <laughs> uh, this way, brother! Old man McMorty lived in this house. Heard his son oh, was a Lord. chosen one. Just like you. Really? How did he fare? Well, the droger split him like a ripe tomato. I love how he's pushing me out of the way of fighting things. And getting hit because of it. Hildy, come this way! I'm kinda stuck, dude. Hey, she's doing a good job of keeping, keeping people alive. I remembered when she died, there wasn't enough wood to build her coffin. I hunger! Oh, Jesus. Easy. Dude. 
Hell take you! Uh, this way, brother. Ah. Poor Bessie me. I remembered when she died, there wasn't enough wood to build her coffin. Hildy, uh, 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 come this way! about to go down. Down she goes. Well. But that's okay. Because... Hildy, come this way! Interesting. Uh, uh, this way, brother. Garrett, where have you been? Let's go home. Oh, dude, you are nuts. Okay. This is the spot, Garrett, where I found the body of old Porridale Jones. <laughs> Gives me a shiver. Never seen a real dead body before. Hopefully, you'll never have to. Oi. Well, I'm glad that's over. Things seem much quieter over here. Yes, they do. Hilda, when did you get here? Oh, my wife. Give us a kiss. You so much as come anywhere near me, I'm gonna knock you out. It is you. You never change my love. With that, the bard found himself thinking that... Stop telling me what I'm thinking. As the bard and his best friend, father, brother, and husband approached the farm, things were eerily quiet. Soon, however, the bard witnessed the sight that had driven Hatcher from his farm. People weren't the only things rising from the dead, and these hacked-up animals were quite annoyed at how they'd been treated by the butcher. There was a strong case here for a vegetarian lifestyle. I have something that will help. Father's old bow. This way, brother. Back to brother, is it? Uh, better than Hildy, I suppose. So he bought a new bow, and now he's going to give you a new bow. Well, it's probably going to be crap. But hey, yeah, so we'll cut it here. So uh, you like what you see? You like dragging <sighs> old crazy men around? You've heard it all before. You know what to do. We'll catch you next time.